Hello students, our today's topic is elastic constant. We are going to discuss about elastic constants today. So, uh, the factor which determine the deformation produced by a given stress system acting on the material are called elastic constant or we can say there are different type of stresses and their corresponding strains within elastic limit are related which are referred to as elastic constant or elastic constant are the constants within the limit for which Hooke's law are obeyed. So this is the definition of elastic constant. Now uh, there are various type of elastic constant we have to study. Uh, the first type of elastic constant is modulus of elasticity. Second is Poisson's ratio. Third is modulus of rigidity and fourth is bulk modulus. These uh, four type of elastic constant we have to study. So in this category I am taking first elastic constant that is modulus of elasticity or it is uh, generally determined by the longitudinal strain. So uh, if we consider any kind of bar or this bar is subjected by an axial force P. So when an axial force is applied along the longitudinal axis of the bar. So in this condition, the length of the bar will be increased. If we apply tensile force on this bar or tensile stress on this bar, then the length of the bar will be increased. So this change in uh, the change in the length and we can say this change in length is deformation also. So the change in length uh, per unit length of the bar is termed as the longitudinal strain or the longitudinal strain is also called primary strain. So we can say the ratio of the stress to strain within elastic limit is called modulus of elasticity. If we are denoting this modulus of elasticity by capital E, this should be the ratio of P by eta. This P is the stress and the eta is denoting the strain. Or we can say the modulus of elasticity which is also called young modulus of elasticity is the constant of proportionality which is defined as the intensity of stress that cause unit strain. The second type of uh, elastic constant is Poisson's ratio which is defined by the lateral strain. So in this category if, uh, if we are considering a bar uh, which is subjected by an axial tensile force applied along the longitudinal axis of the bar so in this condition, the length of the bar will be increased. If we apply tensile force on this bar, uh, in this condition, the length of the bar will be increased. But at the same time, its lateral dimensions like uh, width, breadth and diameter will be decreased also. This phenomena, you can see it in, uh, in this figure. So, uh, we can say uh, any direct stress which is produced a strain in its own direction which is called longitudinal strain and an opposite kind of strain which is called lateral strain in every direction at right angle. So, the ratio of the lateral strain to the longitudinal strain is constant for the given material. This constant is known as the Poisson's ratio. So the ratio of lateral strain to the longitudinal strain is a constant and this constant is the Poisson's ratio which is denoted by mu and this mu is equ equivalent to 1 by m. This constant is generally named after by uh, a French mathematician Poisson. And the value of the Poisson's ratios varies between 0.25 to 0.42 for most of the metals. 
third type of elastic constant is modulus of rigidity or shear modulus so this shear modulus or modulus of rigidity is generally expressed the relation between the shear stress and shear strain so we can say the shear stress is proportional to shear strain within the elastic limit is called modulus of rigidity if we denoting the shear stress by tau and the shear strain by phi so uh, we can say this tau is proportional to phi and the ratio of uh, this tau and phi is equivalent to n this n is the modulus of rigidity so we can say n the modulus of rigidity is the ratio of shear stress to shear strain the fourth type of elastic constant is bulk modulus uh, if we consider any three dimensional body so when a body is subjected to three mutually perpendicular like stresses of equal intensity if we are considering any three dimensional body which is subjected by three mutually perpendicular like stresses of equal intensity in that condition the ratio of direct stress to the corresponding volumetric strain is defined as the bulk modulus for that particular material if we denoting this bulk modulus by k that will be the ratio of direct stress by volumetric strain if we are denoting this direct stress by p and the volumetric strain by ev so the uh, bulk modulus of the material k is equivalent to p by ev thank you